guys, this is Car Guy 11. It's been nearly 10,000 miles and a little over a year since I have my 2016 C7 Corvette Stingray Z51 manual. And um, I want to give you my ownership impressions over the last year and uh, tell you a little bit about the car. And if you definitely check out my C7 playlist on the YouTube channel, I'll put the link below. And that'll give you all the um, details of all the options, the modifications, how-tos, etc. on the car. So, but in short, like I said, it's Z51 package, manual, with mag ride, and it's the 1LT trim uh, 2016 Stingray. So, but anyway, uh, overall, uh, the car has been awesome the past year. Got a lot of use out of it, obviously, with nearly 10,000 miles. And, um, you know, to start off, first of all, the styling. Uh, the styling is just awesome. It turns heads everywhere I go. Of course, the color helps. Uh, the bright Laguna Blue, which I love. Um, and it was definitely worth getting that extra cost color option. Um, but anytime you pull up into a car show, you, you fit in, um, and then, you know, kids always wave to you, give you high fives and, uh, thumbs up and, um, even, um, adults as well. So definitely love the styling of this car and, um, it's one of the best features of the car. Um, performance, this car moves and, um, it's at home on the racetrack and it just um, it's faster than 90% of the cars out there so you never have to <laughs> worry about getting beat and um, it's just an awesome performer for the uh, for the price of the car too it's 460 horsepower 460 torque tons of low end power in this uh, LT1 engine uh, with the slick shifting seven speed manual um it's a uh, great transmission uh maybe doesn't need seven gears uh seventh is pretty much used for 70 80 miles per hour on the highway to get the best fuel economy but um yeah it's uh it's definitely um an awesome powertrain and gives you nice efficiency on the highway i can get around 30 miles per gallon um, with with the seven speed and also it has a four-cylinder eco mode where you can turn the dial the driver mode in and um, yeah it's uh it'll get you around 30 miles per gallon which is pretty good uh, around town and you know normal driving i'm in the low 20s normally so which again isn't isn't too bad for for the performance of this car what else uh it is an awesome handling car. Um, actually, um, it may be too good. Uh, on the street, you know, it, you're not going to explore the limits uh, on the street. You almost have to go to a racetrack to, to, to get to that level of exploring it. So that could be a little negative as well because... Um, you know, maybe it's not as fun to drive on the street as some of the other um, um, sports cars out there that have a little bit lower limits. So, um, but nonetheless, it you know, <laughs> you'll uh, you'll be uh, moving, you'll be beating other people, and uh, and you'll be looking good doing it. So, um, other things. I like about the car is the um it's very practical uh there's room in the back to you know if you're taking a, a weekend trip or something there's plenty of space in the back uh for that kind of thing and um um also it's it's pretty comfortable as well um with the magnetic ride suspension you know you put it in the soft suspension which is the tour mode and it uh, doesn't beat you up um, in fact I took a trip to uh, Chicago this summer uh, to visit my buddy Autonut and it was great I, I enjoyed the drive immensely and um, 
I was fine driving. I think it was like eight hours or so, eight, nine hours. So yeah, it was no problem. And um, had a good time doing it. Good sound system as well. And uh, you put it in that eco mode and the engine quiets down or the exhaust quiets down. And um, yeah, it was, it was a good, good cross country tour. So, um, and then along with the good gas mileage um, on the highway, uh, that was, it's a, it's a pretty good all around car. Um, now some of the things I don't like or that could be improved, um, the frame stiffness. I, it, it's an open top car. It has the target top that, you know, you can remove. And um, it's just not as solid feeling as a closed top car, uh, such as the Mustang I had. Uh, that thing was like a vault. And uh, this, you do feel a little jiggliness, especially uh, with the smaller bumps. The large bumps, it seems to soak up more than the uh, small bumps. So it. And again, this is a uh, aluminum frame, so that that may be part of it as well. I mean, it's it's lightweight and um, may not be as stiff as a steel solid structure. So, but that that's one thing I would like to see a little improvement. And then there are some rattles and, and creaks and rattles that go along with it in the in the interior as well. So. Um, there's still a few cheap bits here and there, and if you see my other videos, you, you've um, uh, heard me talk about the uh, air vent rattling, and uh, it still kind of does that, actually. It's, it's improved, but it's still not perfect, and some other, some other panels as well, so, um, but, you know, for the cost of this car, it is a very well-priced car and um, you're getting a lot of performance so um, compared to um, the top German Porsches and, and things like that it's it's way cheaper so you're uh, you know you can forgive it for some of these uh, little things um, another thing the AC the air conditioner I, I, it should be colder and I've actually I've taken it in they said it's 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 fine but I have to put it in the low to mid 60s to keep the interior comfortable. And it seems like it's a programming thing because it does get cold at times. It's just, um, it just goes like warm and cold. And I don't know, it should be colder in my opinion. So hopefully they will come up with a um, software update for the uh, automatic climate control. But. And um, that's pretty much it. I really love the car. Um, I've done a well. I've done a lot of small things to it. And again, definitely check out my uh, playlist, and you can see what I've done. Uh, it's a blast on the track, of course, and that's really what it's made for. And I had a great time with that. Uh, of course, um, you know what happened when I use launch control. I don't recommend using launch control. Uh, it's just way too high RPM for um, for this type of motor, and um, um, yeah, I destroyed my rear end if you if you didn't see that. So uh, check out that video. But it was fixed under warranty, so that's a good thing. GM stands behind their cars, performance cars, with um, covering it on track as well. So. Other than that, I, again, would recommend this car. Um, I really enjoy driving it. And um, the power, the torque, it's unbelievable. All right, guys, that about sums up my uh, review for the year. Uh, definitely comment below if you have additional questions or if you want me to make a video on something I haven't covered yet uh, definitely subscribe like the video and follow me on Instagram as well I post many pictures stories and behind the scenes on Instagram well guys it was an awesome car season this year with the Corvette I really enjoyed the people the car 
the events I went to and I hope you guys enjoyed it too but stay tuned there'll be there'll be still a few more uh, Corvette videos and then I'll also be switching over to some more Jeep videos which are some some exciting things for the Jeep as well and uh, I just appreciate you guys watching and the support and hope you guys will consider subscribing for if, if you haven't so with that I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you guys next video.